gonna be on the draw. We're gonna keep this hand. It's nothing special, nothing spectacular, but I think. Oh no, I misclicked. Oh, we're gonna be keeping this hand now. <laughs> uh, I was gonna keep the original hand because if we draw fours, we have the wall of roots to soak up some damage, draw our spells. But let's be honest, this hand was much better. So I'm gonna be taking it. I'm gonna play this. And uh, you're gonna pass it right. Looks like we're playing some kind of green blue concoction. Cast, please. Let's level this up. Alright, and we won't forget to attack this turn. And we also won't forget to play the Celestia Sanctuary. And we're going to return the forest, of course. Okay. Uh, so what we need now is business spells. We have all the acceleration in the world. And nothing to do with it. Let's play the Thran Dynamo. What are you going to set up? Set me up for? You're going to Mystic Snake me? If you did, then you should have just played it and killed my Tree Speaker. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> He's playing a Bloom? This guy's confusing me. Why'd you take away my bloom for? Oh, snaps. Uh, yeah, let's play the wall of blossoms here. Uh, for the maze of it. And I think I'm just going to wait. Another turn just to uh, ever flowing chalice for three. Because the reason why I'm questioning his lowest bloom play is there was like. There was a Thrasodon laid for me. Uh, Willfall Primus was late. Unless one of them wheeled back to him. I really don't see why he's playing that card. But not many things my opponent does that uh, make sense to me. Really need to draw some blue sources here. Really need to draw blue sources, gifts ungiven. God. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand what my opponents could be taking. I don't understand. <coughs> Choose and put a... Okay, so we're going to play this right. We're going to let him... I guess he's playing Eldrazi's. That's the only thing I could think of. I'm not going to give him the Gurgoyle Speaker, and I'm not going to give him the Karn Liberated. He could bribery me to his heart's content. Sure. Uh, what's the creature? What's is there a creature left in my graveyard? Oh, it's a Thrag Tusk. Okay, fine. You can take Mr. Thrag Tusk, you big bully. Sure. Let's go, bully. Bully beat down. Oh, Palancry. Huh. Okay. Huh. He gives up. Uh, why did they give up? <laughs> I don't understand. Why did he give up? He was winning! You were winning! I was losing! 
Uh. Ah. Uh. All right, I'm, I'm going to put in the natural order in the Terracidon because he played bribery. He saw in our deck and he. He was so offended by our pile that he just gave up. <laughs> that's the only thing I could think of. And if that's the case, then uh, I think he might sideboard out the bribery and put in more counter spells and stuff. So hopefully this will uh, surprise him. Uh, can't believe he gave up. Is our pile so offensive that you have to give up? I mean. There's insulting, and then there's insulting, and I feel I really feel that we just got insulted here, guys. I think we just like uh, I can't play this game with this noob. Just left, left in the huff. The Nadine was worthy of a game. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna put the Master Core, Terracidon, Plan B, and uh, submit. And now he has a forty-two card deck. I think he loaded this. Okay, we won. Uh, I don't understand what just happened here. I. The only thing I could think of is he doesn't want to play against a storm deck. He'd rather just lose than play against me. So I guess if you want to troll people out there, or a certain type of people, just force store and have them hate playing you so much that they'll just concede as soon as they realize what they're playing against. I wanted to play a game. Uh, I'll take the victory. I'll see you round three, I guess. Uh, this has been the strangest round of magic ever.